Welcome to another episode of That Van Life Cooking Show. On this show, we show you how to create delicious dishes using ingredients that you can get anywhere in the world, pretty much. The dishes we make are also simple. They only use one or two pans because we only have one or two hobs and one or two pans, which is ideal if you're cooking outdoors, if you're cooking van life, or if you just want to cook simply at home. This is a no-nonsense cooking show where we just cook delicious food with the minimum fuss and the minimum life admin at the end cleaning up your mess. Don't forget you can download the ebook. The ebook is available underneath. This gives you the, all the recipes for this season and maybe a few more. Not only will you be supporting this channel, but you'll be helping keep this show on the road and we'll just keep doing with it. If this works out like it makes some money, then we keep doing it. If not, we don't. Today, we are gonna show you how to make a really simple but very delicious noodle stir fry. Now, noodles you can pretty much get anywhere. Um, these actually came from Tesco. We're in the UK right now, um, and it's just whole wheat noodles, but you can use any type of dried noodle, but maybe not the really thin, really nasty ones, you know? But like, go for the chunky ones, egg noodles, or whatever, are really good. Um, and there's all sorts of different noodles you can get if you have different intolerances, like rice noodles or buckwheat noodles, bean noodles. All sorts Soy of noodles. noodles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So whatever your intolerance. You can always find a noodle. <laughs> yeah, there's a noodle for everyone. <laughs> Starting off by chopping up an onion. You want to cut it reasonably fine. This is a red onion. Red onions are pretty damn good. And onion is also super healthy for you. So if you eat half an onion a day, apparently that's very, very good for your long-term health. As generally eaten healthily is for your long-term health. We often think you should never have like an unhealthy habit for more than three years. More than always, three years? Yeah, I think like so. three years? Well, just a generic thing, but like just to give you an idea, but like... Is you that know, how long your city job was? I did do a city job for three years, well a bit less actually. But I mean, you know, like if you're doing something very long term, that's when the serious health consequences kick in. So if you're doing like okay. 10, 20 years, so if you think, oh, three years, I mean... I can get you know, away with that. Yeah, I think you pretty much can. Your body does recover from stuff, you know? You Like, say, you partied hard for a few years, but if you party hard for 20 years, you're, you're yeah, going to look haggard and old, Barty, aren't you? Whereas if you party hard for a little bit and you get that out of your system, that's fine, but don't become an alcoholic or do too many drugs or whatever and get to a point where you've cooked yourself. Going to slam in some olive oil into the pan because we're going to cook onions. Get them going. We're not trying to massacre them. Now, garlic, a good way to open your garlic clove to begin with is just to smash it. And I'm just gonna crush the garlic to get the stupid paper off. No one likes the garlic paper, it's just annoying. If you don't want your hands to stink of garlic for the next like week, you can just use um garlic granules. Some people aren't a fan, Harriet, but I am a fan of garlic granules. You just when you're ready, like you don't have to cook it so long, obviously, because it's all granulated, it just goes in. Super easy way to get a nice dose of garlic in your food. And because it's granulated, the flavour really comes out, so it's quite strong for the, for the amount you put in. I can feel it stinking up my hands. And then what happens is like, when your hands smell of something, you just want to smell them, and it's like, oh, fucking garlic. And you're ready to cross over into granulated garlic. I think I'm always going to want fresh stuff though. Not just everything in jars. Now, it's time for ginger. Ginger. I love ginger. Ginger's love like. Ginger. It lives in the van forever. Um, and it's basically delicious. This one's trying to grow. Now, most people will take the outside off the ginger, but to be honest, I don't think you need to. Like, I've never noticed it. Maybe cut the, like, the big end, the crusty end off, but other than that. A good way to cut ginger is you take it down the grain. When you cut it sideways, it's much, much harder. So you can kind of cut it into thin slices and it's very, very easy to chop up then. So we're just going to pop that ginger in and stir it in with those onions. Onions are a great base for stir fry. Now you can chop the mushroom. 
ginger is super immune boosting. It's like been used in, it's been used for centuries, right, in India. Ginger tea, always drink ginger tea in the morning if you're getting a cold or something like that. There are so many different types of mushrooms you can put into things. Um, it's really quite amazing, the different types and different textures you can get. Some mushrooms are like kind of like chewy, almost meat-like. Um, but we just got some standard mushrooms here. So we're not trying to be too fussy about it. But if you're ever in a shop and you see some funky looking mushrooms, buy them, try them out. So we're gonna add a liberal amount of soy sauce to this because it's gonna cook off as well. It's quite good stuff. Sick. Yeah. And it's good to add the soy sauce now because it really soaks it into the mushrooms because the mushrooms you want to cook for a long time to soak up all the flavours and then the other vegetables that we're using you want to put them in at the end so they stay kind of crispy so it's not all just mush. Pretty good smell. And I would add a little bit of water as well. Yeah. So now we want to boil our water for the noodles. Just going to put the pan on a slightly lower heat so it just slightly boils while we cook our noodles. Noodles are a great food for travel or people who just want to have an easy life at home because you just store noodles, buy them in bulk uh, and then you just get your fresh vegetables. I'm a very lazy cook as Harriet knows but I don't really don't like things like microwave meals. No, a lot of takeaways are rubbish. You sometimes you have a takeaway and the next morning I just have like a super dry mouth because of the amount of salt in it. Mm. It's gross and it's bad for your body. You know, I don't want to put crap into my no body. Yeah. So like just, if you are a microwave meal fan, consider just ditching that shit because it's so quick just to fry up some vegetables and chuck in some soy sauce or whatever. Like this meal is going to be 10 minutes. Not much difference. And you'd be like, oh, I'm so busy. I didn't have time. I can do my weekly shop in a city in less than 10 minutes because it's like mm. veg aisle, carb aisle. It's and like, once you've got a few things, like a few sauces or spices or condiments, it's piss easy. Yeah. So like basically having no time is it's, you're tricking yourself. You're buying into the convenience culture, which Ness is not necessarily that convenient, especially if the long term side effect is you have serious gastro and gastro Entrinitis. <laughs> Especially if you have gastroenterological issues as you get older. So bad health in your old age is not convenient. So we really, well, personally, I see it as like fresh vegetables, mm. decent foods, nothing with too much rubbish in it, nothing with like not too much processed meats, not too much processed foods because they're just not that good for you. Um, and if and you want to, it's well. cheaper. It's cheaper. If you want to live long and you want to live healthy and you want to live on a budget. This is the easiest way. It's just veg, eggs, a little bit of meat maybe, but like not- A few nuts. Shoot some nuts, you know, and it's like easy, it's fast, it is convenient. It's more convenient. Even like going to eat out somewhere because you can't be bothered to cook, costs five times the price of the ingredients mm. or depend on what you're having. Um, but on top of that, you're probably gonna have a drink. And then on top of that, you have to wait. <laughs> You have to wait for them to come to you with stuff and get your order and then you have to wait and sit there and then you have to wait for them to bring you the food and then, add insult to injury, you have to wait to get the bill. And then you have to pay a tip. <laughs> and then you have to pay more. I mean, it is nice sometimes, don't get me wrong. And I do really love eating good food which someone else's cooks. Yeah. But convenience isn't the reason for that, you know? And the other thing is, the amount of money you can spend eating out in a city is mind-blowing so money so much. you think oh one or two three times a week you know like see your friends blah 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 you know 50 quid each time 150 pound a week 300 600 pounds a month i only spend van life in spain i can get away with like 500 pounds a month and that's if i'm like letting it rain you know i don't even know how i spend 500 pounds a month maybe it's more like 300 <laughs> But you know, it's so cheap. Lots of ice cream. I didn't even eat ice no. cream. Right? It's too lazy. Chocolate? No. 
I mean, basically. Three bottles of wine? No. You know, you'd have like, to be an alcoholic to drink that much. But essentially, you know, what I would normally spend on rent in London would be more than I spend ever in a month. I mean, actually, mm. my life costs about a thousand pounds a month on average. Now, van life in Spain is like three hundred pounds a month, but I'm flying off to do big walls and shipping stuff all over the place and all this rubbish. Then that's like that's like one thousand five hundred pound a month. But like on average, it's about a thousand pounds a month, which is like one thousand three hundred fifty dollars at current exchange rates. Can you do that in London? <laughs> no, I mean, in <laughs> my, no. you know, like what I would spend van life in Spain doing exactly what I want every day, yeah. having a really good time with friends, just being in nature, costs me like a third of living in London. It costs me half of what rent would cost in London. Yeah. And rent is just burning money. But then you're like, well, you buy a house, but now you're a slave to a house. What's the answer? Just fuck it all. Just like, fuck off, like, the society who's screwing you over, making you buy some bullshit house or stealing your money for their stupid inflated house prices for rent, and just live in a van. Much better. It's random. Not that I'm angry about it. <laughs> it's just... It's structurally done. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem I have it. No government will tackle the housing crisis because old people, the last thing what they want is that you reduce the price of their house because yeah. they feel like they've earned that by stage investment. And they just bought a house. So I'm just going to well, chop yeah. off a pepper. <laughs> Pepper's got lots of vitamin C in it. You can literally buy it anywhere in the world. In Spain, the peppers are like the size of your head. Oh man, they're amazing. The size of her head. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, broccoli is one of the highest sources of vitamin D and calcium. Is yeah, that it's, right? It's good. Yeah. Tons of calcium. So when I break bones, I basically eat tons of broccoli, loads of milk, and loads of vitamin D. It basically, no, it does. It increases the I speed you heal. When I break bones. <laughs> and it's super easy to cook and eat. And I just break it up into like mini trees. Just the trees, they're so cool. And you can just snap it up, it's very, very easy. And it's a particularly good one. Broccoli is probably one of the best green vegetables. Yeah, I love it. Like nutritionally and like just got great flavours in it. It's got good textures. Yeah. So great. broccoli always soaks up a lot of flavour because of like the fluffy heads. It soaks up a lot of oil and then it makes it even better. Peanuts add a bit of crunch and good protein sauce. Americans love peanuts. Oh my god. They're obsessed with peanut butter. I love peanut butter as well. Really? What's wrong? Yeah. I, just, I just don't think it's that good. Oh, I love it. It's that like dry pastiness. Oh, yeah, but it's, it gets stuck in your mouth. Yeah, it's so good. Peanut butter and bananas for breakfast. Such a good snack. So, we're going to also use some coriander or cilantro for the Americans watching the show, this stuff is particularly rubbish. It's basically yellow. Anemic, we're using anemic cilantro. It's a special type of cilantro we get in the UK where it's just not very good. <laughs> and you want to chop, chop all of it. You don't just want to use, you want to use the roots, the Stalk. stalks yeah. as well. Because um, the stalks have actually got loads of, and it's actually got loads of, loads of flavor in it too. It's got a bit of crunch. Yeah. I wonder once I've chopped this up in my face. These are noodles in like a little nest form. I'm just gonna chuck them in the boiling water. I'm just gonna do two. Two's probably enough. We've got quite a lot in the main dish. I can never be a chef. No. <laughs> oh God, like cooking like 10 meals in a day for this cooking show. It's like my worst nightmare. Yeah, it was hardcore. <laughs> Imagine I having to sick. do that as a job. Imagine having to do that as a job. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, rough. And like, you know, people stressing about it. No thank Ordering you. Ordering people around. Oh, that, okay, I can with, do that bit. With other people's like presentation. Oh, I'll try to chew. Well, I'm just going to die before it's finished. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to drain it out using a pan because colanders are clearly for people who like just to do washing up. Chuck that in. Now, if you want low admin for your washing up, 
And now you can just stir that up. We can turn the heat up again, because we want to slightly fry the noodles. Oh, you can see it's really picking up the soy sauce. That's, mm. that's beautiful. I always think like um, stir fries, they always look like such a rich looking food, do you know? But they're yeah. like such a simple food to make. And just let that fry a little bit, we'll just turn it over, keep it kind of going, and then we'll have a pretty good meal. If you're doing a lot of exercise, you just gotta eat more. Like when you're like working in the city or something and you just have a sedentary lifestyle, you sit down, do this all day, and then maybe you go up and make a tea and you go back and you do this. And then you get a biscuit. You don't need very much yet, then you just eat like unhealthy food. You just don't need so much calories. But if you're outside and you're active, you're hiking, you're mountain climbing or whatever you're doing, you just need more food for your body to recover and get back up to strength. So you can enjoy your food more when you've got an outdoor lifestyle because you're actually using yeah, those calories. It's so much better when you've earned it, when, oh. you, when your body feels hungry and then you're yeah. actually like... When you get home from like, like you know, like a 24 hour like fucking climbing thing and you eat, it's the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or when you're at the crag mm. and you have some peanut butter and banana and you're like... <laughs> like as far as I go with that one, I think the best thing is like the, the um, binnickers. Have you ever had a binnickers? No. It's where you get a banana and a Snickers together. You eat no, them together. You, you open the banana up and you put peanut butter inside it. That is mm. really good. Too much effort. How is that effort? You can't eat, yeah. you can't no. eat that while you're on a multi pitch so well can you? No, but if but you're Nickers, at the bottom, banana Snickers, peanut butter, chocolate, banana. It's freaking delicious. <laughs> you heard it here first. Or if you watch my China video, you saw it there first. It's a great snack though. Okay, I'll try it. I will try it. <laughs> so now this is nice. It's just done a fry up and it would just almost like add a little sort of crispiness to the outside of the noodles. Mm and it kind of dries out the last of the sauce because as you can see the bottom of the pan now doesn't really have any runniness and we're basically done yeah things are getting stiff and there we have it a beautiful delicious stir fry meal i mean if you had to pay for, like how much would that cost to make how much pound it pound 50 yeah two pounds and in a restaurant yeah exactly yeah. but you're talking like a meal which is like for two people, three dollars. For sure. Dollar fifty each. So let's say you spend dollar fifty times three, three, four, five, four dollars fifty. Four dollars fifty food a day, healthy, good quality. Four dollars fifty a day. And you live in a van, so no rent. And then you're not like unless you're touring, you don't use so much um gas if you like going somewhere to do something. Yeah. Um you kind of stay in the same place. Uh, for a while to hike or climb, so you're not even using much gas. This is what, and like food in some places is a lot cheaper than the UK. Let's give it a bit of a taste test. Mm, that's really good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. That's super good. So there we have it. It looks like super dark. Soy Another soy. delicious, amazing meal, cooked in like 15 minutes. Healthy ingredients, very cheap, ideal if you're traveling or in a van, or even better, you're just at home and you want to eat healthy and cheap. That's really good. Yeah, it's nice. The mushrooms are so good, aren't they, when they cook for like yeah, that little bit amazing, longer? Yeah, especially like brain and all those uh -huh. flavors. So don't forget, you can download the ebook underneath. It will give you all the ingredients in the show. As we do more episodes, we'll update the ebook and you'll get those updates for free automatically. You'll get an email out, you download it again. Very, very easy. Um, and knowing that, it will help the show. So don't forget as well, if you know someone who likes simple foods, who doesn't like life admin, doesn't like to clean up, but they you know, maybe need a little bit of a spur on for how they can imagine making fast stuff, efficient ease and simple stuff for very little washing up, then recommend this show, share it with them and you'll be doing them a favor and us a favor and that would be really cool. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.